that's that on that. Sounds like we need. <laughs> oh, uh, that, that's what it is. Oh. Yeah, so I guess I'll get started with you. get started with music for today. No, wait, wait, that's not it. That's not it. Sorry. <laughs> what is it? It's <laughs> no. What is it? No, nothing, nothing. What is it? <laughs> nothing at all. Aaliyah, take it away, Mitch. Uh, <laughs> we need resolutions. Uh, oh, I'm tired of arguing, girl. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. It's content, girl. baby. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. Episode 75. Just move on side, I'm catching the bad vibe. And it's contagious. What's the latest? Speak you in your car, if you at work, turn this shit up, turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. Don't miss music. What's your problem? Let's resolve. We can solve. What's the cause? It's official. Y'all good today? Y'all quiet as hell. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, y'all into this movie. Yeah. Sorry, you know, I ain't even want to be talking that shit. I know. Talking that shit. Find sports. Something you can't get into. I know. Ah, a little college basketball for you. In the middle of February, it's pretty boring. Actually, Kansas is pretty boring. So. That's y'all like sports. You gotta be some real stupid uh, attention to Alright, another song stress. Why not? I think you'll like that one. Sorry, guys. Sorry, today. I'll play Young Boy Never. Huh? What the hell are you doing, sorry? Oh, what a bit. Oh, my fault. Sorry. She was doing that in the video, man. She's paying homage. She's lit. <laughs> That's my lack of knowledge. Sorry, guys. That is hilarious. <laughs> Valentine's twerk. Some of that post Valentine's twerk. Sorry, did you do this? Uh, uh, never mind. I'm not gonna do that. Did you post anything to OnlyFans for yesterday? You give me, you give me exclusive content? <laughs> hey, the porn pictures was going off. The porn women were going off yesterday. Uh. Yesterday was their day to cash in, boy. Exclusive content on my OnlyFans. Subscribe now. Oh, uh, we'll get into it. Uh, this nigga definitely sucks some toes. Nasty, big oh, man. Welcome, 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 welcome to the What's in My Bag podcast. It is me, your host, Louis B. I'm joined by some friends. None other than the gang, 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 gang. Sadia, you speak to him, my gal. What's up? What's up? Jade, speak to him, my guy. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. Episode seventy-five. That's a pretty big number. Seventy-five, three quarters. Wow. Down seventy-five. <laughs> and we're only getting started, man. Uh, as always, man, I'm so happy to be doing this. Thank you to everyone that listens. Uh, faithfully every week. Shouts out to you. Shouts out to the folks on YouTube. Hey, how you doing? All right, forget y'all. Yep. Uh, yeah, seventy-five things in seventy-five episodes. Seventy-five. Yeah, seventy-five things. Like. <laughs> Cause I mean, these are all just things. Like, oh my God, Brandy, stop! I forgot I still had you playing. Yeah, that was Brandy. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Wow. How did you, you not learn? know that? Hey man, you, you know he don't listen to RMV. I'm not cultured. <laughs> Hey man, at least you admit it. Twenty twenty is the year of transparency, honesty, Shit. and all of that. I'm closer oh, to wait, what? not closer. <laughs> it's only wait, you transparent don't in when you call and you gotta admit you're half wrong. I feel uh-huh. like everybody oh, oh, you open like, up your bag upside down. I'm just I'm going for the chips. At first, do you know how hard it is to open up the bag upside down? You ain't look at the bag when you it's open it. It's easy for me. They, they you know, strong it's just a bag at <laughs> Yeah. Wait, wait. Oh, oh, bro. The bottom oh, of the bag is harder bro, to open. Open up the bottom of the bag, see how hard it is compared to open up the top. I never really noticed that. I'm, I'm not gonna do it because I don't got no taste for no chips. I've never noticed that. I mean, what the fuck kind of Cheeto was that? She got the most heftiest chip. That is good. <laughs> good God. Damn. 
that I like. You like those big ones? I'd be like, ugh, that's I too much. I love the big ones. What do you mean? Sadia. <laughs> Look at Sadia taking this thing forward 2020. Did you hear that metaphor? Bruh, if that was weed, that would be a gram. <laughs> Do <laughs> that. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What the Give me back up. What a fat ass Cheeto guy. Oh here. my it God. This had been like five of them together. Ugh. That's the like the deformed one in the factories. They gotta let those go. <laughs> they supposed to yeah. All right, Saudi said something about transparency only being uh I don't know that I don't, I forgot what she just said. Uh, I but like, I said it sounded that, bitter. Yeah. It was bitter. It was, um, I was saying, I said, like, transparency is only there when, when it's a negative and you caught, but I take that back. I feel like everybody's transparent only when, after the situation's over and they didn't want to change or in that they don't want to live in the moment. Meaning, I'm transparent three years later instead of being transparent in the moment when it's time for me to actually do something about it and change my actions. Hmm. No. I mean, that's. I mean, well, that could go into hindsight. Always being twenty twenty. But I, I, I feel that with people. A lot mm-hmm. of people, you know, come out, you know, say, you know, I'm going through this, I'm going through that. In that moment, you weren't transparent about it. In that moment, you were aware you were doing all these negative things, da da da, and it was no ownership. Now, mm-hmm. years later, it's trendy to be transparent. Now it's trendy to oh, be, okay. you saying. know what I'm saying, open about what was going on and this and that. Hmm. Why weren't you transparent in this moment? Stop. And I'm, you know. I mean, that's not what it was in their life. They were, no, nobody want to be open like that. But don't nobody, but don't use, a, don't use the phrase that I'm transparent, this and that, and I'm really not. Hmm. Because it sounds like you're not transparent. You're justifying your actions later on for not changing in the moment. Hmm. Did somebody hit you up yesterday? Mm-hmm. Trying to get trying to get that old thing back. No. Hmm. Nobody. I think my smart Alex on Facebook wrote my ass a check. Wait, what <laughs> you? I, I wasn't paying attention this week on Facebook. What, what did you say on Facebook? That was so smart. I think just you could tell like I've been like in my arrogant stage. I feel oh, like a little bit. Fuck these niggas. Fuck fuck this day. Okay. No, not that. I didn't. I wasn't saying that, but just overall, the past like I would say like seven months, like a lot of people's been trying, trying, trying. It's like I'm like, eh, kind of stiff arming, you know, because hmm. I'm really into them. But then when you stiff arm people, nobody's around when you want to be around. <laughs> <laughs> they tired of you. No. Yeah, they tired about. I'm shit, done. Man. <laughs> oh. well, I'm getting real tired of your shit, man. But it's okay though, cause. I don't want nobody to come creeping in. And the next week, don't hit me up no birthdays, nothing. Oh, my God. You same already know. Energy. So, I guess we'll get into Valentine's Day. We'll go ahead and get into the wishy gushy, whatever, and then get out of it. Uh, how was y'all Valentine's Day, man? Give me the good stuff. Hey, man, look. Uh-oh. I was doing that work, stupid ass. Uh, I thought you were going to say you was putting in that work on a little, nope. a little chick. Hey, I ain't going to cap, though. So, y'all remember... Y'all remember uh, when I was talking about how, like, uh, my manager, uh, mm-hmm. I had, like, this big crush on my manager and all this type of shit, bro. Yeah, just keep talking. Bro, she was telling, uh, <laughs> so yesterday, bro, she was telling me, bro, um, that she, uh, that she had met a friend, she was going out on a date and all this type of shit. I was like, man, fuck, bro, like, <laughs> like, fuck this shit. And I was like, damn, because, like, I thought, like, you know, I don't know. I have my own goddamn intentions. Oh, wait, you know wait. You got, you the, got the stood ball. up it's, and you found out then. Huh? Basically, you got stood up. You thought y'all nah. was an item? No, 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 no. Not like, not, not like, not like that, but like, I, I Your felt, feelings was hurt, though. I mean, mm. did you ask, wait, pause, did you ask her out? No, 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 no. I'm saying, nah, like. Here come the bullshit. <laughs> of course you didn't ask her out. <sighs> Bruh. No, I'm saying, because, like, I don't know. It's just, it's just kind of weird. You know a nigga ain't about to say nothing of substance, man. No, bro, I'm just saying, bro, it's really kind of weird. Because I just think, like, all right, bro, like, bro, you my manager at the end of the day, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, if, I, if it was just, like, a regular, like, coworker or something, like, I really wouldn't have gave a fuck. But, like, bro, you my manager, you know what I'm saying? And then, Why don't like, you use that dick to get you to the top? Relax. Relax. No. no. Oh, my God. But, no, nah, but, but, nah, but, like, because... Like usually, like, I mean not usually, but what I like, what I was thinking, what I was gonna do is like, 
kind of like played the long game if anything because we were vibing for real you know what i'm saying like bro every time like bro we, we were together all the time like literally all the fucking time no it sound like your feelings invested Brad, chill out. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no, because like, I remember like, the first time she told me, she was like, oh, yeah, I had met a friend. I was like, it ain't true. Fuck that nigga. Right. Like, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Then, then uh, we was uh, we was walking together yesterday, and then she was just, uh, she had got a phone call. It was from uh, from old dude and shit. Mm-hmm. She, uh, buddy was like, hey, um, I hope you got. I hope you got your bags packed for later and all this type of uh, shit. And, 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 uh, I was like, "Oh shit!" Like <laughs> you got her a trip to Turks, nigga. It's, it's over for he you. Was like, no, he was it's like, not. He was like, uh, he, he was like, don't. She, he, he told her like, don't wear, don't, uh, don't pack no jeans and no sneakers and no shit like that. I was like, "Oh shit!" Like the fuck you got? Girl? I was like, you know what? You got like you got that shit. Like you, you got it. <laughs> My buddy passed. No, like, no, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. It's Uma wrong. Do sound. You sound pretty good. But at the same time, you still got a connection with her, too. I mean, it sounds like nigga got money, but... You got a round trip to Turks and Caicos? It don't matter. Shit. He might have money. Okay, who knows? But you may... He may have more money, but emotionally, she may like you better. So, if I was you, if it was me, and you really like her... Shoot the shot, but that's but that should also be a wake up call. If you like her, that mean other people like her too. So you can't be waiting. I mean, of course, like, you know, like I mean, of course, like you know, that's that's something that I also like you know have to realize and shit. Like, but I be like, of course, I be getting in my own way because like I, I think I, I mean think a lot about like you know the situation and shit. But hey, I mean it just is what it is at oh, this man, point. Like, okay, so Ja Valentine, um, Jesus that was, <laughs> that was, no, that was good. <laughs> Uh, Ooh, Jupid, uh, <laughs> whatever. Um, <laughs> when she got off the phone and he gave her this round trip to Turks and Caicos, oh god, uh, what was her response? Did she did she continue to talk to you and and spend the rest of the day with you and leave with you, or did she leave and go to this trip? Or was she no, really excited? No, matter of fact, oh. matter of fact, she actually left me on the floor by myself. Mm. And goddamn, I had to uh, control the floor and stay later so she could go on her date. She left early and so, made you stay. <laughs> Good God. Oh, God. That is not funny. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, we could just do with that mm. information as we please. Damn, that's tough. Okay, so that was today's Valentine's Day. How was your Valentine's Day, Saudi? Saudi Bob? So, I did half a day. Because originally I had taken off, mm-hmm. taken off, excuse me, and um, I decided I'm gonna work the first half, you know, and uh, I was fine with to work. I felt okay talking to um, one of my co- coworkers, Chance, and we got to talking about my stupid ass ex. Then I was sad. Mm-mm. And then when I got to work, did you get any uh, Valentine's Day texts? Mm. She said she burnt them. I, um, my mom, you know, my mom always gets us a Valentine's Day, but that's it. Nobody told you Happy Valentine's Day. Nobody told me Happy Valentine's Day besides y'all. Oh, your dad don't celebrate that shit though. Mm-mm. Oh, okay, gotcha. But um, so while I was at work, I was fine, you know, talking to a lot of people, you know, da da da. Got off work, went to Burlington to get some stuff for my nephew. And I was like, what the fuck? And then when I got home, I met my lift, I, my lift driver. Me and we talked for a little minute. Fast, a pretty decent time. And I talked to him for a little bit. And um, I went in the house, and I cried. And I wanted my daddy, so I went to my daddy. Why did you cry? Because I was sad. <clears throat> fuck these niggas, man. God, man. <clears throat> hmm. Yesterday was an interesting day. Um, first day woke up, suck some toes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? First hour. <laughs> nah, I wish, I wish, but nah, not not this time. Um, it was an interesting day. I'm not even gonna give my account just yet. I'm just gonna uh give the landscape. So no, tell your part first, and then get to it. Well, my day was great. My day was pretty good. Um. Like I said, we both worked, so afterwards we went to the movies and we went to eat and shit. 
Saw the photograph. We'll talk about that later. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, man, it was a pretty great day. I felt like I I, I did great in my gift. Uh, she did very well in her gifts. I'm I'm floored. Um, yeah, because normally Valentine's Day is not a day mm -hmm. where niggas are shown any kind of love. It is the day Man. that niggas what? get pussy you and get we pay for vagina. everything else. <laughs> like, it, it's not really a day where, like, we're even told, hey, happy Valentine's Day, but we tell it to you. Like, it's always been one of those just like, it's probably why your dad don't celebrate the shit. One of those, like, female capitalistic Nah, if he's opportunities. If he's dating. He definitely gonna go all out. Hey, that's really not a holiday for niggas. Let's just put that out there. What I'm Why thinking? One Valentine's Day, a massacre? Uh -huh. Like weren't people mm, murdered? Yeah, a mass amount of people were murdered on that day or some shit like that. I mean, I went. And now it's the day of I, love. I, I don't. I, I, I'm it not, makes no sense. Um, <laughs> what you was about to say? I, I'm, yeah, I was about to agree agree with you. With that, what you were saying? On that Valentine's Day massacre, shit. I'm just not. I just. I'm not sure how accurate it was yeah. on that day. But yeah, I just know it's not what we celebrated to be now, and mm -hmm. it's like something hey, very so detrimental quick, in the past. Hey, how do y'all feel about um like the whole breakfast in bed shit? Like on a scale of one to ten, like how much does that matter? That's, um, that's really cute to me. I mean, it's, yes, that's a go. It's cool. I'm, I'm see. Not I'm not really a breakfast I, person. Me either. I'm not a breakfast person. But I definitely appreciate you serving me like a princess that I am. Yeah. Uh, it's cool. I've never done it before, per me. se. I mean, you can bring your ass down here and come eat. <laughs> like, uh, all right. Like, like we ain't got no. We don't have one of them little breakfast and bed tables yet you ain't about to spill some shit with your clumsy ass like i'm not right. i'm cool See, you know what I'm or i'm not about to spill no shit with my bro, clumsy and that's ass. really bro, and that's really fucking crazy because every like i literally asked at least like six people y'all make the six or whatever mm -hmm. three sample three females, size small three females three guys okay all the niggas bro we don't give a fuck about that shit like not really you know what i'm saying it's convenient you know what i'm saying like all right cool but to like you know to the women, it's like oh my god, like that's that's real cute. Yeah, I would really love him, like bro. Hmm. Why? Okay. Real question. And do y'all not give a fuck about it because y'all really don't care, or is it because you've never ex you've never received it, or that was never expectation on your end? Because I meet a lot of guys, and they say, you know, I don't. I don't care about Valentine's Day. I don't care about this. I don't care about that. Da, da, da. <laughs> and then That's when you get voice. down to the yes, it is. Hey. And then when you get down to you know the deeper conversations, it's like I didn't get that as a child. Mm -hmm. I didn't get that from girls that I dated. I didn't mm -hmm. get that. So it's like, do you really like not like the breakfast in bed because you just don't give a fuck, or is it because you've never 